Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. Here we're going to be looking at another project for Dolly. Uh, this was an interesting design because I spent a lot of time uh, making sure that the layout is correct for the client. Uh, so Dolly told me that she has been working on her kitchen design for a long time and that she came up with a, a solid uh, conclusion and she just said this is basically what I already have and this is what I want and uh, that's the end of it. Uh, so I, when I started designing this and giving her a 3D elevation that you see right here behind me, uh, I figured out that there's going to be a few complications. And one of them that I didn't like with the current design was the way the fridge is located. I understand there's storage and there's all our requirements and our wish list and all these things that we want in the kitchen. But at the same time, we want this kitchen to be functional and have a proper flow. You don't want people to be, you know, bumping into each other as well as serving properly. So this is what I seen an issue coming up where you have your dining room in the in there in this walkway right here. So basically uh, she has all her appliances picked and she's very fixed on what she wants. So the first thing I do is go look at the appliance specification. So here we have a 30 inch fridge, which is actually 30 and a quarter and she's actually getting a fridge and freezer separately and they require an inch clearance and a quarter inch in between so basically all together this is about a 64 inch uh, opening that you need for the fridge and the only space that they found was uh, was in in this corner location so they built this wall out and the idea here was that the fridge is going to be here uh, the blue uh, I just highlighted to show and uh, when the doors are open and so they clear this panel so I had to shift the oven and the microwave uh, enough so there's a there's a, there's a clearance but this is very inappropriate clearance very tight clearance so I find this is the first issue where client might run into problems you know doing a work using the fridge every day I mean this is something that you're going to be using every day so if it's something that it's not flowing and it's not opening it's hitting another cabinet or it's too tight you're going to get frustrated so and you're going to get upset with the kitchen layout so you spend all this money but then a thing you use every day is bothering you which is not a good thing so the idea behind here that there's a coffee station and some floating shelves and uh, basically you know it's a nice uh, thing to have because you can hide all your appliances in behind the fridge and have your toaster there your coffee machine and that's great but again it has to flow so if somebody's making a coffee nobody else can open the fridge everything is super tight and then it's just so close to the oven and uh, there's a couple of options so one thing I kept asking the client if she really wants this big fridge and that's number one so you could look at your appliances and look at the way you're using your appliances right now for example if you have a 30 inch fridge or a 36 uh, really going at 60 inch maybe not a very big requirement but sometimes there's just a wish list clients know better what they want and my job is to figure out the best way to position that and make it usable and functional uh, which is fine so I, I, I ended up uh, doing the design that will work however the other thing that that's going to be a problem here is this entrance to the dining room so because of all this big fridge we're only left with 28 inches barely 28 inches so now when you are walking into the fridge and imagine you're carrying a tray of uh, you're serving people or you're bringing dishes back so you have something pretty pretty wide in your hands getting in through this hallway is now going to be a challenge because you you have a five inch wall or actually this is an eight inch wall because there's a heating inside and the other thing is that you have a fridge gable now so you're actually going in almost a three foot uh three foot corridor to get into your kitchen which is not going to be a very exciting thing when you're cooking and there's two people and imagine if you know somebody's walking from dining room to help you in the kitchen so you you're gonna bump in you can not pass each other on 28 inches so I really you know I really uh, brought this point up to rethink the whole design and just say okay either I recommend to make the fridge a four foot fridge or it came up with a different design so uh, this was the only solution for me and I said okay you know what it's better that I design it and show the client that it's actually still functioning well and looks good at the same time gives her a better flow so the rest uh, 
this was the biggest concern that I that I noticed and which I wanted to adjust so the, and then the original design we have the double oven drawers decorative hood then around the windows lots and lots of drawers this kitchen has over 30 drawers and then we have a dishwasher in here uh, the cabinets are turning this is another recommendations I made because they had cabinets on this wall and then starting on this wall so when you create a corner and you have decorative crown when the crown meets this is going to be not a very pretty connection in there then we have a pantry which we increase now and uh, a big island and again the island what I was recommending because she has more room in this area right here I just I recommended to go from a three foot island to a four foot island so this irregular shape and uh, they kind of like this idea they're still thinking about that but we finally all agreed and she called some of the her friends and family and this is who else is going to help you you need advice you need people to collaborate on your design and double check me and uh, you know ask other people's opinion what do they think so basically everybody they met and they said yes they see an issue of using the fridge and they liked my other idea uh, to have uh, basically an open wall uh, make it all line up in one line and now you have the proper opening so you could easily open the fridge and you can still have somebody pass by you while you're taking stuff out of the fridge and the other thing here that you get is shallow cabinets on the other side with drawers so you have all your cutlery and you could have your plates potentially for your dining room and this could be a nice serving area so now when you're prepping in the kitchen and you're serving and you're preparing the food while the guests are waiting in the dining room you can land your prepared or finished stuff on this little countertop here and then somebody else could easily take it and put it on a dining table as well as if you're still here prepping and somebody's serving there's no interference you're not bumping into each other you have proper clearance you can dance in this space right now instead of being all cramped up and watching uh, carefully opening the fridge not to hit it and scratch it and just you know having a, a tough time actually getting into into the grabbing the handle and everything so they, we went over all the detail and finally this is the final design that was approved. It's a better flow, better overall layout of the kitchen and you have the serving which uh, are the coffee station now. I understand it's more open. However, it's going to also bring more light and it could be a display cabinet as well. So one of the options having gl all glass so you have your decorative glasses. You could have some drinks inside so it could be like a coffee station mini walk-up bar. And, um, and then you have the wine fridge right here. So again, there's, there's, you have to think of the zones. How are you using your kitchen so nobody's interfering? How are you serving your guests? Uh, how many people come by? How do you start your dinner or your party? Do you do an island? You know, now we're having an island landing, which is big. So you can have wine and cheese. And again, people are standing on the outside of the island, not interfering while you're cooking. And you could be cooking uh, and doing, doing your thing in the kitchen. Another thing, this is her backyard right here. So here we have a big pantry for dry food, pantry storage, very useful. We added another broom closet. So the design is actually gonna change. There's gonna be an additional door, which is gonna be a, a 12 inch broom closet. Again, this is something that's uh, very important because your broom is floating around the house. So one option is you keep it in the basement and you go up and down, which she has her basement door right here. The second option is to have a broom closet and have your utility cabinet. So you put all your cleaning supplies and everything in there. So we added that, we reduced the drawers, we reduced the counter space, which is uh, not a big thing. She still has this counter also serving as a serving counter for your backyard. So when now when you have a barbecue in summertime and everybody's in and out, you have, you know, you're doing your barbecue so you can land it on this countertop and uh, or reverse. You can, you know, prepare food from the kitchen and have it here ready for the barbecue. So there's, you know, every time you design your kitchen, you think of your space, you have to look at all the options, all the possibilities and uh, review basically what's bothering you right now, what you don't like in your current space and uh, 
what would you adjust this is the first thing you have to do is basically make a list of what's not working so all your dead spaces you don't have enough pantry storage you don't have enough drawers what is this the biggest items then you have to make your wish list uh, of your appliances so what do you want to put in the kitchen so you know what's not working you know what appliances you want and then you look at your space and say okay I really want an island like in this situation so what do we have to do well this was very different layout of the kitchen they had a tiny kitchen basically with the wall right here separated and and there was a peninsula coming out so much smaller they kept bumping into each other so they really wanted an island and they had to take the wall and shift it into the dining room which which they did and which is great now they're able to have an island and they're able to have a much bigger kitchen their dream fridge and all their appliances in line so everything is functioning uh, well and this is what you have to review these uh, these things where you're gonna put stuff and so we thought of zones we thought of the where we're gonna put the plates there's a lot of drawers all around the island is almost all drawers drawers here a bunch of stuff they're not very into glass and glass shelves and decorative so we're only probably gonna end up leaving one cabinet and another cabinet glass all of these are gonna be closed in so you can have storage because every time you think of glass yes it's very pretty adds to the overall look but you have to basically evaluate do you want the look versus function if you want storage and you don't want to be worried that what guests are going to see inside my cabinet then don't go with glass glass is adding cost to your design it's adding additional uh, lighting expenses there's a lot of things that add up to glass it does look much prettier if you have something to display and if you're ready to keep that cabinet clean and organized because people will see option number two is you do glass shelves and you don't do clear glass which kind of loses its purpose but at the same time it gives you that interesting look so even if you put colorful cups and everything behind like uh, a waterfall glass or sandblasted glass you still see through and the glass shelves will el eliminate the whole cabinet it will light up the whole cabinet and it will add to the design and uh, you just don't see it don't see through the cabinet however this particular client she doesn't like glass shelves she's scared she's worried about them so i said there's no point of doing glass if you're not having the lights so let's save some cost cut out the glass and just have few elements where you're going to display your few little things that you want and the rest just keep them closed have functional proper storage so this is an overall overview of this of this kitchen design and um, like I said I we spent the time we met uh, probably four times already looking at all these things analyzing she met with her friends she showed them all of these options and everybody kind of agree that the fridge should be in this location so right now they are removing the wall and when they remove the wall they actually realized that this would be a better layout for the heating so what I recommended because the heating is done from underneath and it's an open basement right now she has all the possibilities in there and I just told her to bring the heater underneath the kitchen in the basement and then bring it up in a corner and above the window and basically above the window the pipe is going to go right into upstairs bathroom so it worked out better from the pipe instead of going from uh, like going there's a lot of elbows that would have been happening all the way here and uh, it wouldn't be a proper proper flow of air it'd just be too far right so I, that bathroom would have been getting a lot of heat now to get it into uh, AutoCAD and start doing the production drawings and this is what we're going to do next.